In a recent video, I used Midjourney to generate scenes, which I then animated to create a short film. One tricky part was keeping the main character consistent across images. That's why in this video, I will show you a simple way to keep your subject's facial features and characteristics the same across many images in Midjourney. First things first, you will need one image of your character to use as a reference. For this video, I'm going with a realistic human character, but trust me, this method works great with digital art and even animals too. Assuming you're already familiar with Midjourney, if not, I will leave a guide on how to get started in the description box. To use the Midjourney bot, start by typing slash imagine in the chat box. Make sure you specify the visual style such as a real photo, illustration, anime or other styles. Also provide a description of the character's appearance, clothing and accessories and include any additional general keywords that could improve the quality of the generation. And if you want to learn how to write really good prompts, you can check this video. After describing your character, hit enter to execute the prompt and Midjourney will generate four image options based on your description. If none of them meet your expectations, you have the option to rerun the generation. Once you've selected an image you prefer, you can upscale it for a higher quality version. For instance, I like the third image in this grid and to upscale it, I'm gonna go ahead and click on U3 and just like that, you will get an enhanced version of that image. Now that we have our character, we can use it as a reference to generate new images of the same character in different settings, expressions, and clothing. As many of you know, I love pushing the boundaries of stylizing and transforming videos using AI. Today's sponsor, Domo AI, makes this type of magic easy for everyone. With Domo AI, you can easily transform videos and generate images with just a few clicks right on Discord. One of the coolest features of Domo AI is its ability to transform regular videos into various styles like anime, 3D cartoon, paper art, and more. Domo AI can also bring static characters to life. Just type slash move, upload an image of your character, along with a reference video, write a prompt, choose a style, duration, and just like that, your character will be brought to life. Not only that, but you can also use the key parameter to set a custom background color for the video, so you can get more creative by compositing the character in your favorite editing software. And of course, Domo AI can also turn text into image. Just type your prompt and it will generate four different options for you to choose from. You can get started with Domo AI for just $9.99 a month and receive 500 credits to bring your ideas to life. A standard and pro plans are also available. Remember to use the code Domo AI at checkout to save 10% on any subscription plan. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Domo AI. Again, begin by typing slash imagine in the chat box. Start your description with a general outline of what you want. In this case, I'm aiming for a real photo, a medium shot with a general description of my main subject. And rather than describing the character's appearance, you should focus on describing the environment and any other elements in the scene. And the next step is crucial to this tutorial. At the end of your prompt, add a space, two hyphens and type CREF. This is the parameter you will need to use to add a character reference to your prompt. To do this, right click on the reference image that you generated and select copy link, add a space after CREF and paste the URL. While you can technically paste the link to any image to use as a reference, this method works best when the reference image is originally generated in Midjourney itself. After the link, add a space, two hyphens and type CW followed by a space and 100. And this is the character weight parameter that sets the strength of the characterization. You can set it anywhere between zero and 100. Lower values will focus on referencing the face only, while higher values will maintain more of the character's face, hair, and even clothing. Finally, you can use the AR parameter to set the aspect ratio of your images. I recommend going with 16 by nine if you're planning to animate your generated images into a cinematic piece. Speaking of which, make sure you check out my video on how to create a storyline, script and animate your AI film. And once you're ready, hit enter to start generating. And as you can see, we've managed to maintain consistency with the same character in a different setting. If you're not satisfied with the results, try again and Midjourney will maintain pretty good consistency across images. However, while this method works really well with faces, it's currently not as effective with attire and accessories, so you might want to describe 
describe that in more details when prompting. But remember that this is a new feature that will certainly get better in future updates.